Hi everybody, good afternoon. This is David Snyder. It's December the 23rd, 2012. Okay, so what I was doing when I got cut off earlier, I was trying to make a video earlier. And my first video always lasts 10 minutes. It cuts it off. And, uh, right when I'm on a roll here. Okay, so anyways, I want to go over this, this overlay, this impact overlay of the Moon Reverse Mare, Mare Oriental Basin. That the application, Google Earth, put this in place. All I did was select the picture. Okay, I, I went to put an overlay down here. There was a weather pattern here that day. And we can check the weather right now with this. See, make sure it still fits. All right. Now, this, there was a weather pattern that was circular in shape the day that I aligned this. Or the day that the application aligned it, actually. Okay, so the weather. You can see the weather patterns are fit, still fit pretty good. Right. Look at that. Okay, they, they fit good still. Okay, so anyways. This, this picture, I, I pointed out that the circle completes the circle. The application put it in place. I didn't adjust this at all. Hasn't moved since it, since it snapped it down. And you can see the circle here. Indonesia is a big circle. This whole area, big circle right here, right? So if, it, if the moon hasn't hit the Earth, someone needs to ex at least explain this, okay? They need to at least explain this, why this fits this way. I mean, it fits really good. Okay, so I, I figured since I got this in place and this is more than likely where it belongs, I'm going to be able to rebuild the supercontinent during this impact right here. Okay, so I know there's circles all over the Earth because I study the Earth every day pretty much. Turn this off. And I, I know there's a circle right here. Central Asia is a big circle in itself right here. And I, I know this is a circular shape too. So what I did is I brought, saved those, con saved the continent, brought it down here, and that's Asia right here. I lined it right here. Over the top of the Indonesia circle, China circle, whatever you want to call the circle. Okay. And it, it, you know, it, fit, it fits there. We could go through it, but I'm just going to show you the crater now over the top of this. Okay. Now, see the circle. And how it completes the circle. And then look how it go it fits over the, the Tibetan plateau and all that right there. China. Okay, you see that? Now I can also I showed you how the weather fit this crater, right? Now well now I can take the crater away. We can check the weather over the over this area here. And just look at look at the way all the weather fits. It's not a real good weather day today, but look right here in the center, look at this area here. This is ancient weather from China. This is China. What Chinese? The China's old weather. This used to be the weather in China, right here in this spot. I've I've lined it up, and I've also taken the weather. Oh, see how the when you get to the edge, Africa would be here, but it, it's all out of shape and not not correct because it's on the edge of the picture. Okay, but if I was to bring Africa over here and put it put it right how it should be, I, this weather right here. In this spot, or right here, this spot, I think this spot, I could save this weather and, and bring it up here to the Sahara Desert. And this is, you can see it already. That's the weather from the Sahara Desert. This, this right here used to be right here. Okay, so we can, see, we can see where the continents have been by looking at the weather patterns. The weather patterns absolutely show you where the continents were. No doubt about it. I mean, they, they, I can bring this down here or I can bring this up here. And you can already see that it will fit the lines. See the line that comes down. These lines that come down. Look at the lines here in the clouds. See the lines? Look. Everything's at this angle. See the angle right here? These lines create an angle to come to a point like right here, right? What do you see right here? What do you see right there? The same thing. It's the same thing. So Africa and this location on Earth have shared the same spot at one time. They, Africa was over here probably during the impact okay there's two we got two impacts here it, it looks like we have two impacts and now I mean it, it has to be two impacts because the moon shows the one impact with it with it hitting an old impact this impact was already here this one here was already here when this one hit because you can see it it creates the pattern on this side when this happens I, 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 I imagine I mean you can see something some parts of it anyway 
Okay, so that that's I mean that's, I don't I'm not saying I know exactly how this goes down. If you want to chime in on that, I mean, any any information is welcome. I mean, but this this goes here. You can see this all these lines come through and all this all this, all this in the right spot. Look, look how it is. All this desert here. See that? Okay, now I'm gonna go down to India. Check out India. Look at India. India is so nice. Look at the shape of India. Look at this big crater right here in India. There's a big crater right there in India. Right here. And that's right there. So that shows the size. This this shows the size of the moon. Now it could now th these could have been at the poles when these happened, possibly, or they happened right here. If they happened here, then that's the size of the moon. If they happened at the poles, they may have expanded at, as they went down from the poles to, you know, towards the equator. It seems that the Earth stretches things out when it comes down. Everything is so big in the center, you know, around the equator. It seems like everything is bigger. And everything's like squeezed at the poles, apparently. I mean, I don't know that, but I mean, it looks like it, that's what I see. Okay, so anyways, there's that. Okay, now I'm gonna bring up South America in here. Okay, South America. Okay, look at South America. I got that lined up. Look at that with the crater. Look at this angle. Look at this. Look at the whole center of it. It's the whole thing. All of South America right there. One impact anyway. There's one here. We can see there's one there and there's one here. With South America in this location. Pretty much this spot during both impacts it looks like. Either that or it hit and slid or something. I don't know. I mean, but there's two holes. Okay. We can see that. Look at that. You can see the whole shape. If you have a big screen, you can see that. Okay, so I mean that's there. And what else? I don't think I have the Western North America. Did I bring that up here? Oh yeah, Western North America. I guess I did. Okay, and I put that up here because of let me see South America. Take that away because I can see these mountain the lines for these mountains here. Let you change it. Well, I must have changed something along the line, along the way here. But, anyways, goes here. You can see. Here, let me show you here. I think I brought it in all of North America too, but I must have lost it. Anyways, let me show you something else here. Don't get up. Don't start to doubt now. Okay, so here you go. Another impact for this side here. Let me show you. Let me just uh, take this one away. And this is the Mare Imbrium with uh, Copernicus right here. Okay, Copernicus right here. And that falls right. That falls right in Japan. If I move this away, Japan is right there. You can see all this. Look at this. All this over here. This shape right here is right here. That right. This this part right here. I guess I moved something. Must have moved something. You can see, I mean, I can see all these, look at, there's the desert right there, look at the desert right there in this picture, look at that, right there, right here, it's the same exact shape, of course, it's not clear, but you can see that there, okay, so, that could be, I, I mean, I looked at Japan with this one, take this Asia away, and with this, this overlay over Japan and whatnot, right there in the center of the Sea of Japan, I do believe it goes there. I think it does. I mean, it goes. You can see how it fits up here, Kepler, and how they're leaving a lot of stuff out of the picture. Apparently, well, it is really storming outside right now. I just watched that. Uh, Dark Knight movie on DVD. 
and I was able to stop it right where that sandy hook thing comes up. And I got my little snipping tool from Windows, and I snipped that picture out of there. And uh, zoom, was able to zoom in on it, and it sure as hell does say Sandy Hook. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, I, I didn't believe it at first. I thought someone was pulling some kind of internet thing or something, you know. Some kind of crap. And I, uh, sure enough, I saved a picture of it, and I, I was able to uh, edit the color a little bit. And get it to stand out pretty good. I mean, it's you can clearly see it says it looks to me like it says it anyway. It's, it's like Sandy Hook to me. But anyways, there's that. And uh, I wanted to show one other thing real quick. So, so the moon is three times, at least three times the size they say. I mean, I showed it all the Antarctica impacts with the weather patterns here. You can see the weather patterns show impact. Oh, look at that. See, that's a whole impact by Mare Oriental, that crater I just showed you. It's, these weather patterns will fit in that crater reversed over this spot so it shows the size of the moon and uh, I had one more little treat here for the gold hunters prospectors and the like okay so here's the Carlin mine in Nevada here's the Great Salt Lake in here right and here's the shape I, I just consider this whole area like basically the Great Salt Lake because it's a shape that I, I recognize all over the place and, you know, I used to use this crater, the Tchaikovsky crater, or whatever, however you say it, on, on the moon. I used to overlay that, put that crater all over the place because it's such an interesting crater. I mean, it is unbelievably interesting. Here it is, reversed over the Earth. And I, and I used to use it at the size they say the moon, the moon is, right? I used to go by that, and I used to try to find places where it would fit. And I thought I found a bunch of places, you know, just looking around, you try to... Start to looking at stuff too long or something, and you, you just find it looks like it fit. But then, you know, I, I stopped working on it, and it's been a, you know quite a few months since I've even touched this. At least probably four or five months at least. And uh, now that I'm doing it at, the, at three times the size, I, all I did was take the picture, make sure it was three times the size, and then I I recognize the shape of the Great Salt Lake area. With where, this is a teardrop shape, this crater, like a teardrop shape comes to a point right here, just like. Great Salt Lake area there. See the lines? Follow the lines. Look. Look at that. Okay. And right in the center of this crater is the most interesting, most interesting object. I mean, even on Google Moon, this is this picture's from Google Moon. They give you no detail, so you can't see none of this around the outside clearly. They do that on purpose. Okay, but this that doesn't change the fact that that center still looks very interesting. I mean, you can see by the shape of that, and the and the and the and the reflection of it. To me, that looks like quartz and gold. All of this looks like a lot of quartz in the moon. Okay, and we 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 know how on the Earth it fuses with the it squeezes into rocks and it because it's being compressed by the moon impacting the Earth, right? It's it's melting. This is all melted. Everything's melted. And it's squeezing itself into the earth, the the quartz from the moon, right? And this this whole thing is 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 molten. So I mean, this is the Carlin mine, the biggest mine in the gold mine in North America. It used to be the Homestake mine. They closed that down. This is the biggest mine, the uh, gold producing mine in North America, right here, Carlin mine in Nevada. And I'm not and it's not right on the top of it. This this shows it right here, but it's I mean it's not going to be a big, it's not going to be showing itself in a big glob in the middle of the desert in Nevada right it's going to be in the ground it's going to because this was molten right if that's gold and quartz that's going to be in the in the gold ore that they pull out of the mine all the time okay big open pit the mines right here but I mean this is really close and I'm pretty sure I got it lined up really good because you see this like you can see kind of a circular shape right here and over here now watch when I fade it in and out right here you see this edge right here yep and you see the other edge right here this, this edge right here faintly but they give, they give you a little bit you can see that look at all the corners and all the round all the edges line up look at the color of it of the ground goes right here people moons hit the earth it's three times the size they say at least and I don't know what else to say you know the gold the, it brings the gold to the earth so there you go Merry Christmas I mean the continents, like like I was showing you over there, how they were stacked 
over there. Okay, there's a main, there's one main volcano. There are a couple main volcanoes that create a lot of things on this earth. And you can put like the Sea of Japan right here, over here, and you can put the Himalayas were right, right over here at one time. They were right over this area at one time. This whole area. They were all created. You can see that they all say, share the same shape. The coast of Australia, same shape as this right here. Okay, the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau are the same shape as this right here. Come on, see it right there. Look at that same shape. There's your coast, the west coast of North America, right there, of the United States, right there. Look, same shape. Same shape. Okay. Same shape. Right here. Australia. Right here. Same shape. So they're all created in layers, apparently from like a moon impact, supermassive volcano, lava spewing out everywhere, millions of years, cools down, whatever, however long in between. I don't know how long. I have no idea when this happened. I have no idea how long. Before, I mean, I got a couple ideas before the next one happens. I would keep hearing the 30th century myself. And, and all the science fiction, um, like stories and novels, all the you know popular ones that people read and whatnot. I mean, they they all t it seems like they all take place in the 30th century. That's when they all take place, like a, the, the next, you know, human race the, in the future or something. I don't know. It, everything, a lot of things are curious, curiously, you know, played out in the 30th century in a lot of, in a lot of science fiction and, and uh, stories like that. And they all give you a, a hint of truth, it seems. I mean, even the, even the scientists give us a hint of truth by saying the Mars-sized planet hit the Earth to create the moon. Well, it, the moon is a Mars-sized planet. It's it, Look at this. It's hit here. This is an impact here. This whole big thing right right there is the center. Either that or it's, a, it's an impact on the other side where it hits or something. But this is a big impact. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll rebuild more of it later. I gotta get North America in there in this one. I, this, it's been in so many places. It just gets kind of confusing after a while, but check it out for yourself. Put your cost, you, you can t use Google Earth. That's a, That image is from Google Earth. That moon image, that crater, and, and you can just take it and reverse, flip it over with the Microsoft Paint, and then just overlay it right here in the desert. Find a better picture of that crater and put it there. But that's better yet. So good luck. Make sure it's three times the size and you'll see the truth of the planet. Have a good day.